Okay, so let's uh, talk about gravimetry. So in gravimetry, a measurement of mass or a change in mass provides the quantitative information about the analyte. So the general procedure looks something like this. Um, first step is you prepare the solution containing the analyte. And then you would want to separate the analyte from the sample. And then you dry and weigh the isolated analyte. And then finally, from uh, the mass of the analyte, uh, you perform your calculations. So um, here are some of the most common equipment or materials needed for gravimetry. Of course, you need um, balance. It could be analytical or top loading. And we know analytical is more sensitive than the top loading because it could read up to four or five decimal places. And then you have the sample holders. Uh, you have crucibles, evaporating dish, and aluminum pans to hold your filter. So the crucibles are normally used for um, if you uh, need to heat your sample at, at very high temperatures. And then you need to have a filtration setup. So it could be a gravity filtration setup or a suction filtration setup. So the gravity filtration, obviously from the term, uh, from the term itself, you allow, you let the gravity uh, separate the, the liquid portion from the solid portion of your uh, mixture. Where a suction filtration, you um, utilize a vacuum pump to create a vacuum in the flask and uh, it aids in the filtration and making it um, faster compared to the gravity filtration. Of course, you need a lab event to dry your, um, your analyte. If you need to ignite your sample at high temperatures, uh, normally use a muffle furnace. And then finally, you have uh, desiccators uh, where you could cool your uh, analytes especially if they are uh, moisture sensitive. So there are three types of gravimetry that I will be uh, sharing with you this morning. The first one is particulate gravimetry. The second is volatilization gravimetry. And the third one is uh, precipitation gravimetry.